Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Boss with the Boss Coin YouTube channel. And today I'm here to talk to you about is GPU mining still even profitable? And was this farm the best or worst decision of my life? So is GPU mining really dead? Well, let's talk about it. I've got what to mine up here. We're gonna build a rig together, you know, virtually an estimated rig essentially. And I'm gonna break down just exactly what's going on in the mining realm. If GPU mining still profitable, should you get into GPU mining? So first off, I just wanna report on, on some real world facts. I've got about 26,500 hashes or souls mining Equihash right now. Specifically, it's on Zencash. And it is estimated that I made $100 after my electric costs on Zencash on What's a Mine. And I ran the numbers, pulled exactly from my pool, which in the last uh, 12 hours, 24 hours, I've mined about 2.918 Zencash, which equates to $99. So I'm actually a little bit below the estimate which is unfortunate, but with everything, there's all this luck factor involved, and this is a real world result of how many Zencash that many souls can bring you today, which was yesterday, but it's basically today. You know what I mean. I bring this up because I'm just trying to give you some real insight to if you had this many souls, this is how many Zencash you would earn. A lot of people say, you know, what am I mining? Where am I mining? I'm mining mainly Zencash and I'm mining mainly on Supernova. I'm not the biggest fan of Supernova, but what Supernova is, is reliable. I can put my rigs on there and never worry that that pool is down. It's never had, you know, one lick of downtime for me. To break that out a little bit further, in the last week, I mined about you know three Zen Cash a day, which is pretty on par with this. Will get me essentially the earnings it's estimating, which is the three Zen Cash a day, and that's what I'm earning. So all that aside, those are built with rigs, you know, with some of the previous card prices. I've had them for a while. Pretty much everything I have is ROI, unless it's been a recent build on the channel, which if you're not familiar, make sure to check out the Voscoin YouTube channel. I've got all kinds of crazy builds and stuff on here. I'm getting really close to 50K, so make sure to hit that subscribe button, help me get there. But today we're gonna be building a mining rig virtually and seeing is GPU mining still profitable? And we're gonna do this off in stock parts. So let's do it. To condense this video, I actually have a build on how to build a 1050 Ti rig, including you know what we did for overclocking them and everything like that on the channel. This is an eight GPU build, but to do a six GPU, it'd be the exact same thing, minus two GPUs and a couple extra settings that you needed to do to get the additional two GPUs working. So if you'd like to know exactly how to do this, reference this guide right here on the channel. There's a search bar up here, and it'll make it happen for you. So we're gonna use in stock prices right now. So these. 1050 Ti's, I went, I searched the cards. These are pretty much the only call cards at any kind of reasonable price in stock on Amazon and the other big sites like Newegg and BH Photo Video and so on. So these are our prices, 230 bucks for a Zotec, 250 bucks for a EVGA. EVGA, you're obviously gonna get a better quality product. The Zotac, you're probably gonna get a cheaper card. For me personally, with these options, I would grab the Zotacs. However, I wouldn't hesitate to grab the EVGAs because that's uh, if I was going to pick a card brand, that's the card brand I would pick is EVGA. Just like most people, I wouldn't say I'm an EVGA fanboy, but they say EVGA is number one on their box, maybe for a reason. So let's take these prices. We're going to take the $230, and I already broke it down here. So you look at this, and you break out the whole rig. I'm not going to clump up this video with a bunch of parts going through everything, but I have a full parts list in the description below for in-stock items you can buy right now if you want to build a rig. But let's see if it's even worth it to build that mining rig. So if you wanted to build a 6X, I changed these numbers. If you want to build a 6X GPU mining rig, it would cost you about $800. And that's with 1050 Ti's and that's these Zotacs that are in stock. You know, give or take a couple of things. You know, we round up with tax. I mean, let's be honest, it may even be closer to $2,000. And that's okay because we're making $565 a day, $452 after my electric cost. I think my electric cost is actually pretty, pretty out there for the median. I pay about 10 half cents per kilowatt hour, which is uh, pretty average, I think. Some people think it's a good rate, some people think it's bad. It works for me. My farm is still very profitable with that electric rate. So this is all based around Equihash, which is the algo I'm most familiar with and deal the most with, which would be based on the numbers of Zcash, which is right there next to Ethereum per the calculator. Would you make more mining NeoScript on GoByte today? Yeah. Would you make more on Ethereum today? Yeah, but those numbers are always change. If I build a 1050 Ti rig today, I would be mining Zencash personally because I think there's gonna be a huge upside on that project. But you know, again, that's a point I'll get to in a second because if you're getting into mining right now, you've gotta look long-term. If you're looking short-term, it's not gonna make sense and that's okay. It's okay for it not to make sense and for you not to join. I'm not here to force you or shill mining. 
I make all these mining videos because I love and enjoy mining and it's been the most profitable thing I've ever done in my life. So let's break it down. 452 after electric. Extrapolate that out to 365 days. I'm going to make $1,650 with this 1050 Ti rig. Okay. So that's what no price changes for the next year. Do you think that your coin that you mine is not going to go up in the next year? Personally, I think you'd be ridiculous if you don't think that coin will double, triple, quadruple, 10x, whatever you foresee. I don't want to create FOMO. I don't want you to spend money that you're not going to make back and then some. But if you want to get into GPU mining right now, you've got to look long. And if you can't look long, then you shouldn't get into it. If you don't, if you're just looking for a quick buck, GPU mining was actually never for you. Because the people who made the most when the prices went up, let's go ahead and pull up the charts here. So I'm going to base this around Zencash because I've been mining majority Zencash for the last year. Check my channel for the reference. It's absolutely true. So you can see I started mining Zencash somewhere between like July and August, I think. And uh, some of my earlier videos, Zencash was five bucks a coin, which is crazy. And, you know, everything was great. I was mining a bunch of Zencash, and then the Tico report came out, Palm Beach Financial, boom, huge increase due to the popularity. And right here, right here, basically my entire farm ROI, I bought like a ton of stuff on debt, and I made a big gamble. I don't recommend taking on debt, but either way, that's what I did because I saw the vision and the dream, and I believed in it, and luckily for me, it paid off. So here we are today. Up, 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 up. You know, obviously, the whole crypto markets had a big correction, and now we're somewhere around here. That's okay. It's good to have a correction, to get these prices in check, and to keep people um, who shouldn't be getting into crypto and who shouldn't even be getting into mining out because now they're scared. They saw a correction. Look, look at the price. There was never a correction. There's never a correction on this price. Did it need to be corrected? Probably not. But here's that correction market-wide. And it's the people who built their farm, you know, around here. They're the ones who made out well. You've got to realize that if you're building your farm right around here, which is now, and you can get decent prices for parts, this chart's, you know, roughly going to repeat itself. Let's look at the big dog Bitcoin just for reference. Okay, so I'm going to look back at the last year. Look at this price. Obviously, we can't mine Bitcoin with GPUs, but, you know, crypto is all going to be relatively the same. I'm going to go ahead and say this for you guys because there's going to be someone out there who wants to be really cool and drop this line like there's some kind of financial guru. Past performance does not indicate future results. Yeah, obviously it doesn't. However, that's what I base all my moves on, and it's doing me pretty well. So let's look at the chart here. What's the overall trend? Up. The overall trend is up. Let's look at Ethereum, the next biggest crypto, also GPU mineable. And I know, you know, it's not always going to be GPU mineable, whatever. Let's ignore that for now. What's the overall trend here? It's up. It's up. So the bottom line is you've got to pick a point to get in. You've got to pick a point to get into GPU mining. And you've got to understand that this may be a semi-long ride, which really isn't a long ride. Look at other investments you can make in your life. If you can make your money back in a year, that's a very good investment. People are so spoiled with crypto investments because a lot of money's been made over the last year, two, three years, whatever. And it's it's created unrealistic expectations. And, you know, that has been checked recently. Big reality check. And I, honestly, I'm happy to see it. So here's the question. Is GPU mining still profitable? Well, let's look at my farm. This is a big chunk of it that I've had on Zencash. And these are just today rates. Yeah, obviously it's profitable. It's making money. That's what profitability is. I'm making more money than I'm losing. Sounds like a good move to me. And, you know, would I build a farm right now? You kind of can't. Not with the prices and the availability of parts. That's okay. Would I build one rig right now? If I could get good parts, I would absolutely build a rig. Would I buy a rig off someone who's scared of all the crypto, you know, crashing that's going on right now? For the right price, absolutely I would buy those parts. So, you know, there's a lot of risks when you buy a used rig. That's why I try to buy a lot of stuff new. And I run all my stuff low power consumption to keep it cool and look forward to the longevity of the product. So you got to be careful buying used stuff. Just in, you know, my piece of advice there, I guess, if you wanted it. And really with that, GPU mining is absolutely still profitable. And building a rig, you can build a rig with list prices off of Amazon today and still make your money back. So let's go back to that example. Let's say we're going to make that in a year. So let's say this coin doubles, triples, quadruples. 
Well, each time that happens, your break-even point when you make your money back is going down, down, down. That is awesome. The best move if you get into GBU mining is you've got to hold those coins. Or if you want to take your risks even further, you can get into trading with the coins you mine. I should probably just start off every video with this statement. But here it is. Mining is infinite and buying into crypto is finite. You've only got so much cash you can buy into crypto. Okay? I mean, that's it. You can say this, and you know, I'll make more gains, or I'll trade, or whatever. Yeah, you might. <laughs> you really might. Or you might lose all your money. You know, it could go either ways. When you build a rig, you own assets, you've got that hardware, and it produces for you. In addition to that, every day you're mining crypto, and once you finally break even on your investment, it's all freaking gravy, baby. It's all gravy. From that point, you're mining, you know, essentially infinite crypto. That's where building a rig is better than buying into crypto. And one day, if GPU mining stays alive for years and years to come, which I hope and believe it will, then that's when mining will be better than actually buying into crypto because you can only buy in with so much. You can essentially keep mining forever. And that's why I'm a big GPU mining advocate. If you come to the channel, please understand if you're watching this video and you're not a subscriber, I'm absolutely biased. Look at all the GPU mining videos I have. It would be a lot. And I mean, that's what the channel is. It's cryptocurrency with a mining focus. But that's what I'm into. That's what I enjoy. And it's been a lot of fun. I've learned just so much crazy information. And that alone is worth something. If you like this kind of stuff, you could also consider mining a hobby that you're making money with. I don't like to get into hobbies that don't make me money, at least in some form or fashion. Because that's how you get to continue doing the hobby. Otherwise, you get bled dry. Paintball. For the record, I absolutely love paintball. It's just a really expensive hobby. So real quick, I'm just going to run a couple more numbers on what to mine. A couple of people have some questions on how to actually use what to mine. So if I had six RX 570s, right, I wanted to make a rig with six RX 570s. I found a good deal. They're in stock on some site, whatever. You go to what to mine, you put them in. It's going to do all the basic numbers for you here. It's going to tell you like so on F hash, which is Ethereum, hash or Dagimoto. It's uh, going to give you this number. When you hover over here, it says this is a... 574 gigabytes using this F BIOS mod. Okay, cool. If I wanted to pick up 61070 TIs, good luck. <laughs> that's, you know, we're going to click calculate here. You're going to see the settings 150, 500. So that's 150 core and 500 memory. And those are both overclocked. And then we're using 65% TDP. So we're lowering the power draw to create a more efficient mining rig. Reason being is because it helps our ROI by not wasting power or break even point. And with that, these are the numbers we'd have. This shows, you know, roughly the coins that would be better to mine and not as well. We can go all the way down. Another popular option would be just 6, 10, 80 TI. Unfortunately, their price has been really jacked lately. And with that, you know, 6, 10, 80 TI's would make us 20 bucks roughly before electric costs today. So if you think GPU mining is dead and all these numbers are pretty freaking green on a whole lot of different projects, I don't know what you're thinking, man, or what you did, but it's absolutely profitable. Obviously, it's not as profitable as it was two months ago. But in two months from now, it could be more profitable than ever. It may not be. Again, I'm not trying to create FOMO. As, as always, everything will change. Your mileage may vary. But at the end of the day, I've got skin in the game. And I feel absolutely qualified to talk about this because I've risked everything to get into this game. And I don't plan on getting out. Sure, I'm going to sell some rigs here. Um, if you want to buy some of my rigs, uh, email me at boskfarm at gmail.com. That's V-O-S-K-F-A-R-M.com. And you're like, well, you just made a video talking about GPU mining and now you're getting out, bro? Oh my God, you're such a fake liar scammer. Wrong. The answer is that I'm selling a couple builds to fund more builds. It's as simple as that. And, uh, you know, my farm is constantly recycling just because I like to make builds on the channel. And if you like to make builds personally, you can always constantly recycle your builds as well. I still have a big mining farm and my last electric bill was $1,400. So that'll give you an idea how many rigs I had going that month. With that said, please make sure to subscribe to the Voscoin YouTube channel and help me make 50K because I'm really excited. We're going to have some really exciting news soon. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I'll be home.